The Falcons will uh, win the tip. Now a quick three from Cecil, no good. It's wide, Gloniak picks up the rebound. Here's a three there from McMillan. That one's gonna bounce off, no good. Falcons with another offensive rebound from Hempflin. Gloniak with a uh, shot from the free throw line is gonna be no good. The rebound goes to the Senators. As Harper has it on the right wing, gets it over to Kayla James. James now into the paint for Wilburn. Wilburn kicks it out. Thing about a three there was Nestor now back up top. Nestor has it on the right wing again. Take it away, there's Hempling. She's gonna try to take it all the way down the court. Gets it up to Lambert. Lambert's gonna put up a layup. It's gonna drop in and good. Two nothing, the Falcons leading here. Early on, 9.16 left here in the first quarter. As Kayla James will cross the timeline. Tries to get it in there, another steal there. Now Lambert's gonna bring it up on the left side. Now looks to drive on that left side, now pulls it back. Hempfling over to Cecil. Cecil thought about a three. Here's McMillan for three. Off the front iron, no good. Rebound goes to Davis and Elkins, and that's gonna be Armstrong bringing it up. Back over to Harper. Harper has it Armstrong now, now down in the corner for Nestor. Nestor 
He's going to look to drive in. Now goes cuts into the paint. And Gloniak was uh, riding her the whole way. Ends up blocking the shot out of bounds. It's going to be 17 left to shoot here. 8.43 in the first quarter. 2-0 Falcons lead. As the Senators inbound it, they get it over to Wilburn. Wilburn in the right corner, 14 to shoot. Working against Hempfling here. Now she drives in, now double teamed by Hempfling and Lambert. Eight seconds left to shoot, ball's on the floor. And McMillan's on top of it. Now the ball gets itself out for Lambert. Lambert's got a look and go against, Gl uh, get it to Gloniak on a long outlet pass. And she'll drop it in, four to nothing. And we already have a timeout here from Davis and Elkins, a trail four to nothing. 8.23 is gonna be a 30 second timeout. But good job by the Falcons in transition to get that bucket. Uh, Cecil Big heads up pass right, or pardon me, Lambert with a good heads up pass right to Gloniak underneath the basket. Her and Lambert both have two. Those are the only four points that have been scored. Armstrong has two rebounds so far for Davis and Elkins. Hempfling and Gloniak each have one for the Falcons. Hempfling with an assist. Three steals already for the Falcons as McMillan has one, Hempfling has one, and Gloniak has one. As there's one steal, or three steals already said that. One block by Gloniak as we are only a minute and a half into this ball game as here comes the dance team with some pizza to hand out to the fans here. Like I said, pretty good, uh, pretty good sized crowd today cheering on the Falcons. As looks like the teams are making their way back out here. Senators are going to inbound it from underneath their own basket. The Falcons are going to set up defensively to defend theirs. As Davis and Elkins, a Division II team. You can see why the Falcons have kind of jumped all over them so far. Okay, so their record. Coming in only three and seven. We wait for the timeout clock to expire here. Four nothing, Falcons lead it. No fouls yet in this ball game. 8.23 remaining here in the first. Just waiting for the fist of the uh, scoring official to go down. It's gotta be almost done here. Sitting over there laughing, he's got his fist in the air. So it looks like Armstrong's gonna inbound it. There's the first buzzer. So one more coming. It's Kayla James, a five foot senior guard. We'll wait to have the ball inbounded to her. So there's the second buzzer and we're back underway here. Ball is inbounded as James will Carry this one up, crosses the timeline. She's gonna work against Lambert. Gives it up to Armstrong on the right wing. She's being double teamed by Lambert and Cecil as they're over there. She picks up her dribble, now trying to get through it. She's gonna about to get a five count going here and ball's gonna get knocked out of her hand right in front of the Falcon bench with 15 to shoot. As Armstrong gets it in there. Up top to James now, over to Pardon me, that's Netzer. And Armstrong has it Wilburn now. Wilburn's gonna look to take it to the basket. She traveled, so a turnover with two seconds left on the shot clock. 7.54 remaining here in the first quarter. As a full court press now being instigated by Davis and Elkins. And another long outlet pass from Lambert to Gloniak, but that one uh, rimmed out. Ends up getting knocked into the stand, uh, the, pardon me, the back of the basket and out of bounds. So Davis and Elkins, the Senators will have a chance to bring this one back up as here's James. She's gonna be working against McMillan. James to Wilburn on the left wing. Back to James up top. Cross court to Harper. Down, uh, down low now to Armstrong. He's gonna try to put it up, no good. Rebound. Uh, there by Netzer. Netzer's going to try to kick it back out there. Ten from, or ten to shoot 
from Brianna Harper, and there's gonna be an air ball as Lambert now gets it on the outlet pass. Lambert loses her dribble, picks it up, kicks it out to Cecil. Here's a three from Hempfling. It's gonna head off the front iron, no good. And the score will stay four to nothing. Seven minutes left here in this first quarter as James brings it up on the right side. James over to Harper. It's Harper. Will look to drive up to the left side, now tries to kick it out. Stolen there by Hempfling. And she'll uh, get the overhead pass over to Lambert. Lambert try to kicks it in the Gloniak in the paint. Lost it now up top. Cecil gets it over in the corner. Now back into Hempfling. Hempfling is going to go look to go up and put it off the glass. She was going there against Nestor. No good. And off there. A foul's called going the other way. It's going to be on Katie Hempfling. That's the first foul in the ball game as we made it about three and a half in. Without a foul as James will now bring it up on the left side. James. Now over to Harper. Harper back to James up top. 17 left to shoot as Harper has it on the left wing. Harper now into Nestor. Nestor's going to put it up. No good as it rimmed out. There's going to be a foul called against number four Armstrong as she got in the way of uh, Katie Hempfling. So fresh 30 seconds as Hempfling's going to inbound it underneath her own basket. We're going to have a sub come in here now. It's going to be number 32, Jemaya Johnson, coming in for Callie Wilburn. Hempfling has it, full court press being issued again as Cecil now has it. She's going to drive the paint now, kicks it out to McMillan for a wide open three, who nails it. And now it's 7 0, the Falcons lead it. James has it now in the right wing. James down into the uh, corner for Nestor. Nestor's going to look to drive. Ball gets knocked out of her hands and out of bounds by Hempfling. So they're going to get a few more subs in. As the Senators do as they get it over to Kilpatrick. Now up top to uh, Burdock as they both came in. Burdock back over to Armstrong. Armstrong is going to look to drive against Lambert. Three to shoot. And Lambert takes the ball away. There's another steal. She'll bring it up. Passes it to McMillan on the left wing. Now Cecil's now on the left wing again for McMillan. Three, no good. Rebound goes to Hartley Gloniak who puts it up and in. And it's 11 to nothing. Just over five minutes remaining here. As it looks like Armstrong's going to look to drive in the paint again. Kicks it back out to Kilpatrick. There's a three. Rebound no good. Johnson will get the rebound for the Senators. So he'll get a second chance here. And now Nestor working against the Falcons. There's going to be a foul called on Kilpatrick on McMillan as she was trying to bring it out around. That'll be Kilpatrick's first foul. Second team foul by the Senators. 9 nothing. 4.55 remaining here as Hempfling will inbound it. As Lambert will bring it up on the right side. Lambert has it up on the right wing. She's gonna try to get it into Cecil down low. Cecil kick out to Lambert. Here's a wide open three from the top of the key. No good. As the rebounds on the ground are gonna call a jump ball. That's gonna give possession to Davis and Elkins. as Armstrong's gonna look to inbound it right here. To Burdock, and will bring it up and crosses the timeline. Burdock, over to Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick's gonna look to drive, now pulls back, back up to Burdock up top. She moves to the top of the key. An 11 to shoot, gives it up to Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick looks, here's a shot, long two. She's gonna air ball that one. And another turnover. Has 4-11 remaining here in the first quarter. Nine to nothing, the Falcons lead it against the Davis and Elkins Senators. Lambert on the left side. Gives it up to Cecil, Cecil over to Lambert. Lambert, now to McMillan on the right wing. Down low to Hempfling, Hempfling 
He's gonna kick out to Cecil. Here's the corner, three from the left side. Off the rim, no good. Rebound, still going. It rolled all the way back to the other end. Before McMillan picks it up, the Falcons are gonna bring it back to the other side with Cecil. McMillan on the left wing. Now the Cecil on the right. Now Gloniak up top. Here's a kick out to Lambert. Now, now back to Gloniak, who's gonna look to drive, but she shuffled her shoes. There's a travel. She thought she had a jump stop there, just did not go. 3.38 remaining here in the first. As Bowling Green is gonna keep, uh, they aren't gonna make a substitute, but Davis and Elkins is, and coming on is gonna be number 11, Courtney Roth. So four substitutes already for the Senators, none for the Falcons. As Burdock brings it up, gives it up there to Kilpatrick. Yeah, and finds his way over to Burdock on the right wing. Burdock over to, uh, pardon me, Silver. Now over to Courtney Roth. Here's a three from Kilpatrick, no good off the iron, rebound to McMillan. As almost an errant pass there, gets it over to Lambert. Now Cecil has it, here's a mid-range jumper. It's gonna rim out, no good, but again, an offensive rebound for Gloniak, kicks out. Here's a three from Cecil, off the rim, no good. Rebound there goes to uh, Taylor Silver. As Johnson's gonna try to put it up, they're gonna call her for a travel. She tried to put her body into Gloniak, who did not uh, give up a foul there. So 9-0, 244 remaining. And Bowling Green's on a 7-0 run. They haven't scored though in two minutes and 33 seconds. As Cecil has it now, Lambert over to McMillan, back up to Lambert up top. Lambert into Hempfling, Hempfling kicks out to Cecil. Here's a three off the front iron, no good. Rebound Davis and Elkins. Looks like number four, Madison Parker is gonna come in at the next whistle. As Johnson has it, she's gonna work against Perry who just came in. As up top is Kilpatrick, Kilpatrick is gonna be fouled. Let's see who that foul was called on. Second foul on the Falcons. As Angela Perry is in with Madison Parker. Now Burdock has it up top. Picks up her dribble, now gets it to Courtney Roth on the left wing. Burdock has it back up top now. As the point guard looks to drive, now pulls back. Here's a mid-range jumper. That's gonna drop in for the first point to Davis and Elkins. They come with 150 remaining here, now nine to two. Parker now has it on the right side. Here's Hempfling, he's gonna look to drive, picks it up. Now here's a kick out to a wide open Cecil for three. There's one drop, one drop there. It's gonna be 12 to two now, 10 point ball game. 136 remaining here in the first quarter. That's Polina Burdock. Pass it up top, 125, 17 to shoot. She's gonna look to get it in there to Roth. She's gonna put up a reverse layup. And it's gonna drop in there good, 12 to four as Lambert kicks over to Cecil for three. Now to Lambert again on the left wing. 109, 22 to shoot. As Lambert gets it over to Cecil. Here's Parker. She's gonna look to drive, get it into Perry. Perry's gonna put it up off the glass, no good, but she'll go to the line and shoot two. As take a look here, Angela Perry on the season. So her first free throw is up and good. So here's the second shot from Perry. That one's gonna rim out 13 to four. Under a minute here, left in the first quarter. As Burdock brings it up. Tries to uh, get it over to Harper, who's checked back in. Now down low to uh, your way. Now Burdock on the left side again. Here's a jumper from the free throw line. That one's gonna drop in. 13 to six now. Just over half a minute to play as Lambert's gonna bring it up on the right side. Now kicks it over to Cecil. Cecil back to Lambert up top, over to Parker. Parker 
He's gonna look to get it over to Cecil, 20 to shoot. They're gonna double team her now, Parker. Now down to Hempfling, Hempfling kicks out to Cecil, who takes a mid-range jumper from the right. And basket near the baseline, it's gonna drop in, 15 to six. Shot clock's off, 13 remaining here as Burdock will bring it up. As Burdock's gonna look to drive, here's a kick out to Roth, thought about a three, now six left, Burdock has it. Here's a long, or called it a three-pointer, I thought it was on the line, Parker is not gonna try to get the three-quarter shot, court shot off. Well, that's gonna do it for the first quarter here. Bowling Green leads it 15 to six. As not a very offensive first quarter for the Falcons. We'll take a quick look at some stats. Uh, Burdock has all, all the two points for the Senators as she has four points. Roth has two. Falcons on the other hand, Andrea Cecil has five, then Claire Gloniak with four, McMillan with three, and then Lambert with two. Just not a very good offensive showing so far by either team. But hopefully that'll have a look to change here in the second quarter. We'll take a quick break. Falcons lead at 15 to six. You're listening to beat DRSO coverage of women's basketball right here on Mixler and WBGBPS. Take on the senator of Dave, or senators of Davis and Elkins College. Falcons lead it 15 to six out of halftime as Hempfling is going to inbound it to Lambert. And he'll bring it across the timeline. Falcons moving left to right over your radio dial, all on your TV screen. If you're joining us online on YouTube with WBGU. As the ball gets tipped around, down to my right and out of bounds, Falcons will keep possession with 20 on the shot clock. There's not a lot of action really in that first quarter as Lambert has it up top by the right wing. Now she's gonna look to drive down the right wing. Now kicks it out to Parker, who's still in. Parker he ends up getting the ball taken away from her there by Burdock, who's gonna carry this one up. Burdock will kick up top to Roth, who puts up a three off the board. No good, it didn't even touch the iron. And then the rebound goes out of bounds, so the Falcons will gain possession. 9.30 remaining here in the second quarter. Lambert has it on the left side. She brings it up. Gets a screen from Hempfling. She moves left to right. Now cross-court pass to Cecil. Cecil gives it over to Hempfling. Hempfling looks, gonna, looks like she's going to drive. Gets three uh, orange, black jerseys around her. And then uh, her pass was tipped, so she tried to get it over to Cecil. Just went out of bounds. So there's a turnover for the Falcons. As a few substitutes check in for Davis and Elkins, as it looks like Harper's gonna make a reappearance along with a few others. So we'll Casey Johnson checking in for the first time. As Kayla James will bring this one up. Gives it up to Harper on the right wing. Now down low in the corner. They bring it up. That's Roth now back over to the left wing. 
as Harper has it back up top to Roth. Roth gets it over to James, almost loses it. James, here's a three. It's gonna hit off the backboard, no good. Parker with the rebound. She'll bring it up, crosses the court. She tries to get it over to wide open Cecil who puts up a three. She's gonna drain that one. And it's gonna be 18 to six, Falcons lead it. As McMillan will check in at the next whistle. As James has it up top to directing traffic, gives it over to Roth. Roth up top to Johnson. And back, ball finds its way back up top to Silver. Now over on the right wing. And taking a shot from that right wing is Roth. It's gonna be missed. No good, rebound to Hempfling. Hempfling will bring this one up. Parker has it now over to Cease, or pardon me, Lambert. Here's Hempfling for three, no good. It head off the iron, but she'll pick up her own rebound as it was tipped and drop it in. And a 14 point lead for the Falcons. 7.55 remaining here in the second quarter. It's also a substitute will come in for Davis and Elkins at the next whistle. So Roth has it now down low to Silver. Silver's gonna try to put it up against Hempfling. We've got it partially blocked as then Gloniak will get the rebound. Inlet pass there to Hempfling, no good as it went off the iron. Rebound goes the other way as now up top with it is Harper. He gets to the top of the key with James. As now over there, Kayla James has it on the right wing. Down low to Johnson. Johnson's gonna look to drive in now, picks it up, seven to shoot. Now five, four to shoot. And the Falcons will get another steal. As Cecil's gonna look to drive, now kicks it out to Lambert for three off the front iron, no good. And the Falcons just can't get any threes to drop today. I believe they only have one so far. As a, uh, pardon me, as a team, they are three for 14. So I say that, is that stat is wrong. The stat I said was wrong. Rebound on that three pointer then comes out to Harper up top, Harper. Tries to get it down low to Silver. Silver on the right block, gonna kick it back out to Harper. Now up top to James. James over to Roth. Gets a kind of a screen there. Hempfling cuts in front of that lob pass and picks it up. Now Lambert has it. She's gonna drive all the way down. That ball's gonna roll all the way around the rim before it finally falls in. And Robin Freilich's gonna call a timeout and that's gonna be the media timeout. Bowling Green now with seven field, or steals. Hempfling has three, Lambert, McMillan, Loniak and Parker all with one. We're gonna take a quick break when we come back. We'll have the rest of this second quarter action. 22 to six, Falcons lead it right here on Mixler and WBGU-TV. Back here in the Stroh Center, Bowling Green leads it 22 to six against Davis and Elkins. Colin Jacob Seidel back with you. 
as Bowling Green, neither team really shooting that well. Bowling Green shooting 36% from the floor, nine for 25, but 20% from behind the arc, that's three for 15. But uh, let's take a look over Davis and Elkins. Three for 17 from the floor, that's a 17.6% clip. 0 for eight from behind the arc. Uh, so just not stellar shooting so far. As James will bring this one up, crosses the timeline, working against Lambert on the right side. Now Roth has it up top. Roth on the right side. Now she's going to get back to James. 17 to shoot. James kicks it over to Armstrong, who puts up a three. No good. Has rattled around there for a second rebound to Gloniak. As now McMillan has it on the right wing. Here's a three for McMillan. No good. That one rimmed around two. Rebound to Davis and Elkins. As Armstrong will bring this one up, now over to Roth. Roth puts up a three, back iron, no good. Again, rebound to Gloniak. As Lambert will bring this one up on the left side. This is Sydney Lambert's 100th game for the Falcons as McMillan puts up a three, again, no good. Offensive rebound to Cecil as it was tipped around. Here's a three from Lambert, there it is. 25 to six, the Falcons now lead a 19 point game. Five and a half remaining in the first half. Uh, no fouls here in, so far in the second quarter. James has it on the right wing with 20 to shoot. Working against Lambert. As down low now to Armstrong. Armstrong's gonna try to put it up off the glass and in. And, and just like that, 25 to eight. Five minutes remaining here in the second quarter. Here's a four, uh, three for Madison Parker. It's good. And now a 20 point game, 28 to eight. 455 remaining as James is gonna bring this one up. Crosses the timeline. Now left over to Armstrong, down in the corner for Roth. Roth up to Johnson as now all goes around the horn. James has it, now gives it up. It's Armstrong up top to Johnson. Johnson is going to look to give it up to Armstrong. Here's a three contested off the back iron. No good. Rebound to Andrea Cecil Bowling Green. So she'll carry it across the timeline. Cecil, or pardon me, Lambert for three. There's two in a row from Lambert. 31 to eight, the Falcons now lead it. 4-16 remaining here in the second quarter as Maddie Cole's gonna look to come in at the next dead ball. James has it up top, gives it up to Armstrong. Ball taken away there by McMillan. McMillan's gonna look to drive. Now Lambert out th for three from Parker. No good, rebound's gonna go out of bounds. So it's gonna be Senator's ball as Maddie Cole and Hempfling will both check in. Cecil's coming off, as well as Gloniak. It's also coming in was Jayla White for Davis and Elkins. They've played almost their entire bench. As Wil uh, Wilburn also comes back in, she has it over on the right side, just inside the three-point line. She's got a five-second count going, and there it is, the five-second count. Tur uh, forced turnover by Bowling Green, and they'll get the ball. Good defense there by the Falcons. As Lambert will bring this one up on the left side. Lambert goes around the horn, now gives it up to McMillan. McMillan over to Cole up top. Now down to Hempling McMillan, here's a wide open three. She'll drain that one, 34 to eight. 318 remaining here in the second quarter. Sydney Lampert is the only one to play, the, or has played all 17 minutes so far. We'll see if she gets a break down low to, uh, pardon me, that was Johnson, she loses the ball. As Lambert has it in the corner, now gives it up to McMillan. Now over on the left wing for Parker. Cross court pass for Lambert, thought about a three. Now Hempfling has it on the block, gives it up to Maddie Cole, puts it off the glass and in. What a play right there. Good job, teammate to teammate. Knew she wasn't going to be able to get up and get it and just dishes it off just in time. White has it on the right wing. She'll try to get it into Johnson. Johnson kicks it back out. As Armstrong almost lost that one. Armstrong's now going to look on the left side, 12 to shoot. Armstrong, there's a steal from Hempling. She's going to take it the other way. Hempling going to go up to the basket, put up the reverse layup. It's going to rim out, but the rebound is picked up by Parker. She'll put it up, no good. Rebound almost swatted away there by Maddie Cole. 
You know, Davis and Elkins comes away with it 36 to eight now as Armstrong has it on the right side. Armstrong now to Johnson down low. Johnson's gonna try to put it up off the glass and in. And the Senators break the 10 point mark. 36 to 10 now as Lambert has it on the right side. Matty Cole now on the left wing. Or pardon me, Matty Cole down low. Now McMillan with a three. There's another good three. 39 to 10 now, the Falcons lead it. Less than two minutes remaining here in the second. As bringing it up is gonna be White. White gives it up. Now Johnson has it on the inside. She's gonna look to drive in now, kicks it out up top. Back to White on the left wing. As Wilburn has it, she's gonna look to drive. There's a charge as she put her uh, full forearm right into the chest of McMillan and actually it looks like Wilburn might have taken the worst of that hit as she's down and not getting back up. As trainers come out to take a look at her and she's finally up. Looks like she might have done something to that right leg. She's uh, favoring it a little bit as they're gonna get her off the court now. It's her teammate. Johnson's gonna help move around. She gets a nice round of applause here from the Falcon faithful. I didn't see who came in for it. It might have been Rebecca uh, LaBurge, I believe. And now only three of Davis and Elkins' bench has not entered this ball game. Thanks for joining us here today on Mixler uh, for the last game of the Falcon triple header of the hockey men's basketball team and now women's basketball team as McMillan's going to bring this one up on the left side. McMillan over to Parker. Now Cole has it now kicked out there to Molly Deaver who checked in. Now Madison Parker 18 to shoot McMillan. Now back to Parker. Here's a three from Parker. Off the front iron, no good. Rebound's gonna go to White. She'll pick this one up and get it up top to Nestor. Here, pardon me, that was LaBerge. As White has it, gives it. Uh, she gave it up to Armstrong. Got an incident, shot went up. No good rebound now as Parker has it. Parker's gonna bring it up across the timeline. And here's a shot from Deaver from three. It's gonna drop in there, Thor uh, 42 to 10. The Falcons lead by 32. 30 seconds remaining here in the first half. As Johnson has it down low, 21 to shoot. She's gonna look to bring it up on the right wing. Or pardon me, right block, no good as the rebound goes to Hempfling. Shot clock is off. They'll probably wait to hold this one for the last shot as McMillan's getting instructions from he or her head coach. She's up top by the Falcon logo, 11 left in the quarter. It's McMillan. It's gonna get it in the Cole, six to shoot now down low. Got tipped away, so the Falcons with a ill-timed turnover, 4.2 seconds remaining here. As Armstrong inbounds it, now here comes White. White's gonna put up a floater at the buzzer. It's gonna hit the rim and no good to end the first half. Bowling Green will finish it, leading at 42 to 10 here. We have uh, halftime coming up. Take a look at some of your stats here though. Sydney Lambert leads with 10 points so far. She's four for six from the field. Uh, McMillan is three for eight from behind the arc. That's about it. 13 steals, five coming from Hempfling herself, then three from Cecil, two from Lambert, two from, uh, and pardon me, three from Parker. Or two from Parker, one from Maddie Cole. So the Falcons taking away the ball very easily. 13 turnovers in, in all by the Senators as they're shooting five for 25 from the floor, 0 for 11. From behind the arc, they have not gone to the, gone to the line. 19 rebounds. And them 24 rebounds for the Falcons. They're led by Hempfling and Gloniak. Well, we're going to step aside. When we come back, we'll take a look at some more of your first half stats and get you set up for the second half of this ball game. You're uh, listening to BGSU Women's Basketball right here on Mixler and WBGU TV.
It's a screen from Johnson. Uh, she's now be, or Johnson's now being guarded in the paint by Galoniak. Up top to Wilburn, who hands it off to Burdick. Now here's Armstrong. Armstrong on the left wing, gets a screen. Seven to shoot, now gets it into Johnson, who's gonna put it up 
airballed it over the net and hit off the rim. Rebound to Hempfling. Here's a three on the left wing for Lambert. She nails it. 45 to 10, the Falcons extend their lead. As Burdock will bring this one up, crosses the timeline now. She's gonna work against Sydney Lambert, who against playing in her 100th career game here as a Falcon. So they get it down low to Wilburn. Wilburn's gonna work on the left block and puts up the shot, no good. Rebound to Gloniak. Falcons now moving right to left on your screens and uh, radio dials. As Lambert has it up top. Lambert gets a screen from Hempfling. Now over to McMillan. McMillan is going to be found there by Johnson. And they're going to inbound it underneath the Davison Elkins basket. First foul on Johnson, as well as the first foul of the half for Davison Elkins. Lambert looks to inbound. She finds a seat, wide open Cecil up top, thought about a three, now gives it up to Hempfling. Hempfling. He's going to look to drive. She kicks it back out to Gloniak. 24 to shoot. Now Gloniak's going to drive right side. Now Lambert, 4-3 on the right wing. No good. Rebound there as Wilburn is able to pick it up. Burdock now on the right side. He's going to try to get, or get it over to Armstrong at the top of the key. Here's a contested three. She'll drain that one. And that's the first three of the ball game for Davis and Elkins. As Cecil now has it on the left side. Now Hempfling. Gloniak on the left wing. Now, or pardon me, block, now on the right block is Hempfling. Her shot's no good, rebound. Knocked out of bounds by Gloniak, so it's gonna be Davis and Elkins' ball. The Senators are now one for 12 from behind the arc. As Burdock will bring this one, she up, she crosses the timeline. Works against Lambert, now on the right side. Ball finds its way. Oh, over to Armstrong. She lost it for a second, gets it back. Now they're going to go down low to Wilburn, working against Hempfling. Seven to shoot. She's going to run a little arch or arcing uh, route, misses it, and the rebound goes back to Davis and Elkins as it gets back up top to Burdock from Johnson. Burdock on the right wing. She's going to look to get it. Over to Armstrong, now up to Johnson. Johnson with 11 to shoot, is going to drive against Gloniak. Puts up a little bit of a hook shot. It's not going to fall as Hempfling picks up the rebound. She'll move it across the timeline. Here's Lambert for three. That one rolls over top of the iron again. No good. As Harper's going to bring it up on the left side. Working against Cecil. Now it's Burdock. Burdock. It's going to look to drive. Now pulls it out. Ball taken away there. So it was knocked away by Hempfling. Now Cecil has it on the right side. She's going to pull up to a little mid-range jumper from the paint on the right side. That'll drop in. 47-13, 6.48 remaining here in the third quarter. As Kalina Burdock has it up top. Gets it over to Harper on the left wing. Harper tries to get it down low to Armstrong. He's going to work against Cecil. It's going to go out of bounds. They're going to say it's against Cecil. And we'll have some substitutions coming in. Uh, Kaylee Uruguay is going to come in, as well as, let's see here, number 20, J. Kilpatrick for the Senators, and let's see here, we're going to have number 22, Molly Deaver come in for the Falcons, as well as Angela Perry, and we'll tell you the rest in just a second, as also Sydney Nestor comes in, she has the ball down low. Nestor working against Hempfling. Here's a shot from her. It's going to air ball. Perry had the rebound and got knocked out of her hand. And it's going to stay Falcons ball as Cindy Lambert brings this one up across the court to Hempfling. Now over to Deaver for three. Deaver is going to drain it there. And now it's 50 to 13. The Falcons lead by 47. As down low, pass miss there as James picks it up up top. And she'll make a reappearance in most of the first half. As here's a shot from Armstrong, deep, no good. Rebound there to Uruguay. And she'll put that one up and it'll drop in. Pardon me, Nestor had that shot. As Lambert will inbound it here, 50 to 15 now, Falcons lead. As Deaver has it on the right side, Deaver. 
Now down to Perry. Perry's gonna put it up off the front of rim, no good. And then Hempfling fouled. Uh, pardon me, that looked like Armstrong. She was hoping for a travel. Hempfling's gonna come out and make way for Madison Parker. As James will bring this one up at the top of the key, now moves to the left side. Five and a half remaining here in the third quarter. James has it, gets it over to Armstrong on the left wing, now down low to Uruguay. She'll put up the shot, no good, as she airballed it, rebound to Parker. As Parker has it on the right side, now Deaver on the right corner, gets it up top to the top of the key to Parker. And Lama Lambert on the left wing, down low to McMillan. Here's a corner three, no good, rebound to Angela Perry. She missed her putback twice, and then Deaver gets it now up top with a fresh shot clock. Perry down low, she's gonna work in the paint. No good as it rolled off the side of the rim once again. It's on the right side now. James brings this one up, working against McMillan. Now gets it over to Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick down low to Uruguay. As here comes the shot from her, it's going to be no good. Rebound somehow got to Sydney Lambert. She'll bring this one up. Lambert's going to kick out to Deaver. Deaver thought about a three, now drives in. She lost it. It's going to go out of bounds off the Senators. So the Falcons will inbound it underneath the Davis and Elkins net. After this media timeout, Falcons lead at 50 to 15 right here at the Stroh Center. We'll be right back. Back here in the Stroh Center, 4.26 remaining here in the third quarter. Falcons lead at 50 to 15. Now as coming out, uh, Falcons come back out onto the court. McMillan's gonna inbound it to the right of the Davis and Elkins basket. She's gonna get it up to Lambert up top. Lambert now has it. It's gonna be kind of double teamed. It was weird. Now, <laughs> hard to explain that one as Parker's inlet pass did not go as planned. It's gonna be a turnover as James brings this one up across the timeline. James on the right side. He looks to get it your way. She'll look to drive right side. Now pulls back, tries to kick out. Here's Armstrong for three from the right corner, or pardon me, right wing, no good. Rebound, Deaver ends up with it for the Falcons. Now she'll give it up to Parker. Parker on the right side. She'll get it down to Lambert in the corner. Thought about a three on that right side. She'll bring it back over now as Deaver over to McMillan. McMillan on the left wing. Back over to Lambert. Lambert 
12 she gives it in the parry. Now Parker has it. She's going to drive the right side of the baseline. Now back to Lambert. Lambert up top over to McMillan for three. As the shot clock expires, she's going to drop it in there. 53 to 15. As McMillan is now four for 10 from behind the line today as James has it on the right side. She'll get it over to Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick down low to Uruguay. Now Kilpatrick has it back up on the right wing. Your way. Air ball, or pardon me, off the top of the glass. Looked like it bounced there for a second. As now on the left wing, Madison Parker drops in an easy three. 56 to 15. 250 remaining here in the third quarter. As James has it on the left wing, Maddie Cole's going to check back in at the next whistle. As here's a shot from Kilpatrick off the front iron. No good as. Angela Perry gets the rebound. She'll try to give it up to Lambert. Lambert thought she was, Lambert thinks the ball went off Kilpatrick. She also kind of got hit in the side of the face there on that, but it's gonna be Davis and Elkins ball as they have a large amount of substitutes coming in. White's gonna check back in. As well as Johnson, part of me, only two. They looked like they had three or four coming in. As Deaver is able to stake that pass away. And now Lambert has it on the right block. She's going to put it up. It's going to drop in and one on the block call by uh, Nicole, or Nicole Armstrong. That's going to be her first foul, second team foul. It's going to send Sydney Lambert to the line. Lambert on the season is a 773 free throw shooter. So Maddie, check, or Maddie Cole checked in just a little bit ago, and that completes the three-point play. 59-15, 220 remaining here in the third quarter as White brings this one up across the timeline. Now gets over, over to Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick going to try to get it down low to Johnson. Now bounce pass back to Kilpatrick. No good as she put up the shot. Rebound goes to Parker. As Parker will bring this one up across the timeline. Now gets it into Maddie Cole. Maddie Cole down low to Perry. Puts up the shot, no good. Rebound to Davis Nelkins. As Kilpatrick has it up top. And now Uruguay has it. She's gonna look to drive and she's gonna be fouled there by Maddie Cole. She's gonna go to the line and shoot two. Pardon me, they said the foul is on the floor so she will not shoot. A few substitutes coming in. That's Maddie Cole's first personal foul. We also have, uh, pardon me, number 25, Tara ba or Terry Battle come in. As White has it up top, now Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick over to the White in the left wing, now down low. Uh, Silver checks back in. Here's a shot from Kilpatrick on the right wing. No good. Rebound to Parker. Parker has it. She's going to look to drive. Now kicks it out to Lambert. Lambert. Here's a three on the right side. Off the rim. No good. Battle gets in there for the rebound. And good job. Now here's a shot from Lambert from three on the other side. No good. Again, battle with the rebound. Back up top to Deaver. One minute left here. Some bad pass there as White steals it. White's going to put it up. No good, rebound the battle. She's had three rebounds since coming in and there's gonna be a foul against Kilpatrick. Third foul of that quarter. Falcons will inbound it with 52.8 seconds remaining here in the second or third quarter, pardon me. As Lambert will bring this one up on the left wing. Now to Parker in the left corner for three. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound to Deaver, Deaver. Tried to put it up, got the ball knocked away from her. Now Parker puts up, puts it up from the paint, no good. Ball's still down there, is finally picked up by Casey Johnson. As White will bring this one up. Lambert's kind of working a little pseudo press on her. It's now Kilpatrick has it on the left wing. It's about six seconds different shot to game clock. As that ball is going to be an over and back violation, depending who gets to it first. Lambert gets to it first. Shot clock's off now as Battle. Has it, she's gonna be 
No, there's going to be a jump ball called. It's going to get Falcons will retain possession with 11.7 seconds remaining. Now, I, thought, I, I thought that would have been more of an offensive foul than a jump ball, but I didn't have the uh, look at the officials do. As Parker has it out on the right side, here's a three from the wing. No good. Rebound's going to go to the Senators. And there's going to be a foul on Maddie Cole. That's going to be her second. 4.6 remaining now, and they're going to or Davis and Elkins will inbound it underneath their basket. As Silver has it, she'll get it in. Now to White. And I don't know if she wasn't going to try to take that last shot or didn't know there was it's not a lot of time left, but she doesn't even take a shot. At the end of the quarter, 59-15, Falcons lead it. We'll take a quick break and come back. Next, uh, for the last quarter of action right here on Mixler and WBGU-TV. Back here at the Stroh Center. Let's take a look at some rebounds. Real quick, Claire Glone, or uh, pardon me, stat leaders. Rebounding leader is Claire Gloniak. She has eight, followed by Morgan Millen with seven. Katie Hempfling and Madison Parker both have six. Then Nestor and Armstrong have four for Davis and Elkins. Let's take a look at the steals. Hempfling has five steals on the night. Sydney Lampert has two. Mort Millen has two. As well as Claire, uh, Claire Gloniak has one. If you look at points, Lampert leads all players with 16, followed by Morgan McMillan with 12, Andrea Cecil with 10, and Molly Deaver with six. Then Nicole Armstrong has five. Burdock has four, Nestor and both have two. We'll take a quick look here. It's gonna be uh, Burdock, Armstrong, Harper, Johnson, and Wilburn for Davis and Elkins. We'll take and we'll get your Falcon starters out here in just a second as it's gonna be Lambert Cole. As part of me, Armstrong has it on the right side. And now Wilburn has it up top. Now over to the Burdock. Now back to Wilburn on the right wing. Now into the corner for Armstrong. Armstrong's gonna turn and look to drive against Deaver. Gets it up to Wilburn, who's going to put up the three, no, or pardon me, put up the shot, no good rebound. She got her own rebound, and then it drops in, 59-17. As Maddie Cole is in there with the ball, she has two seconds to get it over. Deaver is not going to be, actually, there's going to be a turnover there as a pass to Deaver was short. And Davis and Elkins has it. Armstrong's on the right side. She thought, or pardon me, left side, she thought about driving. Now she's coming up top. 20 seconds to shoot. Gets over to Harper. Harper is going to go about to the top of the key. Over to Armstrong. Now down low to Johnson. Johnson in the corner. Now back to Armstrong in the corner. Less than 10 seconds to shoot. As that shot goes up, no good. Rebound goes to Burdock of the Senators. Senator back up top with it now. 25 to shoot. 8.45 remaining here. As Wilburn had it. Burdock now back up top of the key. Burdock, give it up to Harper. Harper's gonna look to drive, again under 10 to shoot. Falcons are defending very well. 
as Armstrong's gonna look to drive, now kicks it out. Here's a three from Johnson, off the rim, no good. Terry Battle gets the rebound for the Falcons. So it looks like it's Parker Lambert, as Lambert puts up that shot and gets it. As there's a timeout there. Sorry, right. Sydney Lambert's three uh, shot there. Uh, apparently, it was a very large milestone. She had that jumper good, 18 points. I'm not sure what that milestone is. I'll see if I can find it here in just a second. Lamer needed just 17 points to become the 28th player to score 1,000 points, and wouldn't you know it, she now has 18 on the season. So I was not sure, did not I was not aware of that. Now I am. Uh, congratulations to Sydney Lambert on becoming the 28th Falcon Women's Player to score 1,000 points. We'll take a quick break and come right back. Back here in the Stroh Center, Falcons lead 61 to 17. And uh, just to go back to it, Sydney Lambert becomes the 28th player in BGSU women's basketball history to score 1,000 points in her career. She needed 17 points today, and now she has 18. Here's what the teams, or here's what the lineup looks like for the Falcons right now. They got Parker, Battle, Palmero, Maddie Cole, and Battle out there. As on the right side, Wilburn has it, now gets it over to Burdock on the left wing. 7.52 remaining here in the uh, fourth quarter as Burdock has it. She's going to look to drive, hit the back of her heel with the ball. She's going to get a screen now, go against it. As here's a shot from three, no good. Rebound knocked away, but the foul is going to be called on Terry Battle. She's working down with, uh, against Jemaya Johnson to get the rebound, just went over top of her. First foul of the quarter for the Falcons. First foul for Terry Battle as well. So a fresh shot clock as the Senators look to inbound it. Terry Battle working right against Johnson again as they'll kick it out there. Now back down low to Johnson on that right block. Kick it back out to Wilburn. Thought about a three as now Harper has read it and drove in. Johnson has it, 14 to shoot, back out to Wilburn. Where's a three from the left wing from her, no good. Rebound to Terry Battle, 7-16 left. Bad pass there by Terry Battle, it was stolen and a shot went up there from Wilburn, but it missed. And Battle got the rebound, now Maddie Cole on the left side, she has it, she's gonna give it up to, uh, pardon me, Palmero, uh, Palmero. Battle has it down low now, no good, rebound goes to Senators as Burdock has it, gives it up to Wilburn, thought about a three, now Harper thought, thinks about a three on the left wing, moves to the top of the key, back up to Burdock. Burdock kicks it down low to Harper. Harper on the left wing, Maddie Cole, or pardon me, 
clear Galone. Er, one second. So, uh, shot is missed. Rebound to Palmero. Jane Euchre to check in at the next whistle. It's down low. Here. Uh, here's the shot from, <laughs> pardon me, Deaver, but they say it was a uh, charge. So Maddie Cole checks out. Jane Euchre comes in to this ball game. As Burdock will bring it up, 6.15 remaining here in the fourth quarter as Deaver is going to be working against her. Harper has it now. Over to Armstrong. Armstrong gives it up to Harper. Harper to Burdock up top. Under 10 to shoot here on the clock as Burdock's going to look to drive. She picks it up, kicks it out to the left corner for Wilburn who puts up a three. It's good. Now they're two for 22 from behind the arc today. As Deaver has it now, here's Palmara, or Palmaro, pardon me, airballs that one. Palmi uh, Palermo. Now it's over on the right wing now, kicked out to the left corner. There's another three from Wilburn, it does not go. Rebound to the Falcons, five and a half remaining here. That's kind of a alley-oop pass from Euchre. Palmaro will put up a three now, no good. A rebound, offensive rebound now as Euchre has it down low. Euchre's going to put it up off the glass. No good, but she'll go to the line and shoot two. These will be Euchre on the season. One for two from the line. Nah, first foul of the quarter on Davidson Elkins. She misses her first. So it stays 61 to 20. As James and Silver come in. As well as uh, Nestor and Faith Farley. So almost full changes there for the Senators. As the second shot's up, no good. Rebound knocked away. Terry Battle almost had it. Uh, Coach Freilich thought that maybe <laughs> it got knocked out of bounds by a senator, but the officials say otherwise as James is going to bring this one up, crosses the timeline, and gives it over to Nestor. Nestor. Now over to Farley. Farley over to Nestor on the left wing. 17 to shoot. Nestor's going to look to drive in, and it's going to be a foul called against Terry Battle, I believe. It's going to be your second, and that's going to take us to immediate timeout. So Falcons lead it 61-21, or pardon me, 61-20 here. 4.53 remaining in the ballgame. We'll take a quick break and be right back with you right here on Mixler and WBGU-TV.
And back here in the Stroh Center as we get set to finish off this fourth quarter. We have one more buzzer to wait for. As it looks like we've got same starting lineup, Deaver, Bat er, Battle, Euchre, uh, pa uh, Palmero, Palmero, pardon me. As up top, James has it, 27 on the shot clock. Ash still moved to the right side against Deaver. James tries to get in low. Good job by Euchre there, tips the pass. Deaver picks it up, and now she'll bring it up across the timeline over to Palmero. Back up to Deaver up top. Deaver is going to give her to Parker. Parker to, back over to Palmero. Here's a three from her. It's off the iron, no good. The rebound there goes to Sydney Nestor. As James brings it up, crosses the timeline back over to Nestor on the left corner. Back up top now into the corner, or right corner, pardon me. There is Silver. James has it, there's a wide open three as Deaver hedged a little too hard there. And she'll drop it in. 61-23 now, the Falcons lead. As Deaver has it on the right corner, now Jane Euchre will put up a three off the back iron, no good. Rebound, again, there goes to Nestor. As James has it now on the left wing, once again working against Deaver, she'll get a screen from Nestor if she wants it, she doesn't. Now Nestor has it up top. She'll get a screen from Armstrong. Over to Armstrong now, looking to get around 14 to shoot. Down low to Nestor, working against Battle in the paint, and there's gonna be a third foul called against Battle. She was straight up. Uh, that's gonna send Nestor to the line. Nestor on the season, 20 for 31. That's a 645 percentage. So I'll have a substitute come in at the next whistle. So here's the shot, and that'll drop in now 61-24. So we're gonna see uh, number 11, Courtney Roth, enter. As here comes the second shot from Nestor. It's gonna roll around, no good. Rebound to the Falcons and Palermo. As Euchre gets it down low on the right block, she's gonna rim it up. It goes all the way around the rim before it finally falls in, but it does. 63 to 24, 312 remaining here in the ball game. Another sub will come in for the Senators at the next whistle. As down into the corner there for Silver. Silver's gonna get it up to James. 16 to shoot, James on the right wing. He's gonna try to get it in. She does get it into Silver. He's gonna put up a little jumper, no good. Rebound to the Falcons. Palermo, she'll bring it up. Crosses the timeline. Here's a three for Madison Parker, no good. Rebound to Deaver, she's knocked down. Picks it back up. As then Battles shot went off the backboard, no good. Rebound goes to the Senators. As here's a wide open three. No, she thought faked the three, now drives in and gets the and one. Does Faith Farley. She'll go to the line and shoot the bonus. It's going to go against. I uh, did not see who they called that against. Well, give me just one second. Sydney Palermo. So Farley will go for the line. And here's the goes up and it's no good. Rebound to Palermo. So Le Rebecca LaBrange, or LaBurge comes in. And is almost losing it there where the Falcons. So White comes back in too, as well for the Senators. Euchre has it down on the right block. It's now, Par Parker has a battle's gonna work, but she uh, moves her foot before she put the ball down on the floor. So that's gonna be a travel. 63-26, 2.08 remaining here. It's almost a moot point at this point as coming across now. Uh, looks like LaBurge has that one. She's gonna drive in. Now kicks it back up top to White. White has it on the left wing, 13 to shoot. Now down low to Silver on that left block. She's gonna put up no good. Euchre with the rebound. 
Parker's going to carry this one up across the timeline. It gives it over to Euchre on the right side of the lane. Now here's three. No good there from uh, Palermo. Gets back out. Here's a three from the same spot. Four, no good. Rebound this time goes to Davis and Elkins. 127 remaining as White will bring this one up. And now over on that left side is LaBurge. And here comes the three from up top. That one came from Roth. No good. Rebound goes to Parker. 112 remaining here as Palermo has it down low. Here's a jumper from Battle. No good. 106 remaining. 63-26. And this is going to be just about it as one minute's remaining here in the fourth quarter. As here's a three from Silver. It's going to be an air ball. No good. So a 21 point or 21.3 second difference between shot to game clock as you wouldn't be surprised to see the Falcons hold this one to finish it off. As Parker has it on that side, now gives it up to Palermo. Deaver has it, now Parker. 15 to shoot battles, gonna put one up. No good, rebound, now two second difference. She gets her own rebound, puts it up again. No good, now half a second difference from shot to game clock. As going the other way with it, putting it up and in is gonna be uh, Rebecca LaBurge. 63-28. Seventeen seconds remaining, and the Falcons are going to win this one handedly, sixty-three to twenty-eight against David Elkins. The all-time record will go to two and zero for the Falcons. The Falcons will move to five and zero here at home, and they'll move to seven and four. Davis and Elkins will drop to three and eight, but good job by the Falcons to win or to take that one all the way to the end. They win it sixty-three to twenty-eight. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have a coach's interview for you right here on Mixler and WBGU.